Hey there. I'm going to do a swipe today. I've got my plastic scrapers. This is a 16 by 20 canvas, so it's smaller. Uh, as far as doing my really large swipes, I don't have, I can't use the space with the larger, it just won't, it won't work. So I've got these two scrapers. I have a store card and I have a lot of white mixed up and I've got my squeeze bottles that I typically use for swipes and everything that I have mixed up is all deco art and white, cadmium yellow, sour apple, festive green, bright blue, deep blue, and sea breeze. This is, I think the color tones I'm going to use on this one. I had a request for yellow, green, and blue with white. So, I'm going to use these color tones, I believe. I mix everything one-to-one -one ratio, and I'm using Oatrol for now. They've asked me to try out their product, and um, it's a little bit more expensive than Floetrol and it's a little harder to find. You can't get it in a store. You have to buy it either from the company, Oatrol, or on Amazon. It's called Oatrol Easy Flow and it's just like Floetrol. And it's a little bit thicker and it but it really lays out well and settles well. I have not had any cracking or crazing even even with the thicker paints that, you know, pile up. So um, I'm real pleased with the way this works. So I'm using Ovatrol. And typically with these uh, deco art paints in the bottle, you, they're fluid enough to where you don't have to add water when you mix it with the Ovatrol. The Ovatrol is a little bit thicker than the Floetrol, so sometimes you do. Uh, metallics, you definitely have to add water because they are thicker. I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to zoom in. Just a little bit. I've got push pins under my canvas. Like I said, it's a 16 by 20. And I do not have any silicone in my white. I've got spot on treadmill lubricant and a drop goes in every ounce of paint mixture that I mix up. I mix it in a cup and then put it into my squeeze bottles. And I have more control with the squeeze bottles. That's why I like to use them. So we're going to skim out this canvas with a light coat of white. And I mean like a light coat. You just want your, I think you could really do it without the canvas even being wet. I just like to have the wet canvas. Uh, it makes things flow sometimes a little bit better, you know, glide along. But when you're swiping, you're almost, you're parallel with the canvas. So you're your scraper is going to be level with the canvas and it's just a very light touch. I'm barely barely skimming my paint. I am not scraping down to the canvas and that's the way I swipe my colors. We're ready to go. I will not be using the biggest scraper, it's too big. So she said yellow, blue, and green. I have, I also have, I, I think I said sour apple, I think I said festive green. Um, I really don't want to use the festive green, I don't think, but I'm going to open it up just in case. And I have the Ultra Blue Deep. Which is this one, and the Bright Blue, which is the, the smaller bottle. So I'm just going to uh, kind of wing it from here. 
what I typically like to do is start with the darkest color and then gradually go lighter kind of in the order of a rainbow so this is the the pale sea breeze color so on this one I'm gonna go from blue to green and I'm not gonna use that festive green, the deeper green because what's gonna happen is that darker blue is gonna blend with the lighter green and the yellow and it's gonna make a green I feel like so I'm not gonna and I am, I'm gonna swipe with a little bit of white we'll see how this turns out I have this postcard and I'm gonna just try to wipe off some of my drips here I don't know if I'll have enough to do anything with it and I shouldn't have swiped twice I should have wiped it off because every time you swipe if you put that other color into it it's going to um, muddy up what you've just done so you're always going to wipe off your tool after every swipe and I there I did it with the white but I think what I'm going to do is skip the white on the swiping and just do it I'm going to take this so this is going to be a little bit more bold on the next swipe This is the other thing I don't like about the bottles that have this little tab on them. You know, you can put it and close it, but they're irritating because if you turn the bottle the wrong way, you're going to stick it into your paint. So I don't like these things at all. That's what I love about these, these bottles that I got from Amazon, and they're on my Amazon link recommendations below the video. They have screw-on lids. They're eight ounce bottles. I think I got six for eight dollars, so they're a little over a dollar, but they're well worth it because they have a smaller nozzle and you can seal it up with a screw on lid, which is wonderful. So this is going to be a little bit more bold, I think, with the, the blue, swiping with the blue. Some people ask me, not, why don't you use all your leftover paint? And this is why when I do this, it takes away from the flow of me doing the painting because I have to scrape it onto something and then wipe it off. Ideally, I'd like to just scrape it and then do the next thing and go on and not worry about saving. But some people are very conscientious about keeping that paint, saving as much paint as possible but it kind of does take away from the artistic flow at the moment that you're doing it. And I'm going to take that over the edge. It 
So I do have, you know, the, the white paint is over the edges, but I do like something like this. I'll let it flow on over. So I do, I like that, and I like the softness of this one as well. So this kind of shows you a comparison of swiping with the blue, which brings the blue over the whole area. And here the blue is intermingled because you're swiping that color, but the white kind of took over the edge there. So that's just something to keep in mind, and you know, I can even switch off and do one one way and one the other way. You don't have to do them all the same. You're using the same colors, but you can swipe with the different colors. And there is no silicone in the white, but you still, even with the blue swiping, you still get the, the cells because all the other colors have the cells. Or the silicone in it, I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the white on this one as well. The white does mute the color palette down just a little bit. So this one I'll swipe with the blue. So this one, for some reason, the blue wasn't as strong as it was over here. I'm going to add just a little bit of blue back in, just so we don't lose that edge as much. I'm really trying very hard to get a studio space and I can't wait to have more room to move around. I work off my kitchen table, basically half of my kitchen table. So 
it's kind of uh, restricting at times. It's very happy feeling. I like it. So I'm going to do just kind of drawing in. Just put my thumb in the paint. I'm good at doing that. I'm really good at putting my finger in things. I don't know about y'all. So I'm going to skip. Let's see. No. got covered up just a little bit. I didn't put enough, I don't think. I'm going to switch up though. Do I dare? So this is like, um, I got a cheap comb set that had four or five combs in it for a buck at the dollar store or something. So. Just something wispy looking. The only thing is you can't bend, well you can kind of bend it. So you can bend it. It's not a hard comb. It's very cheap. So the, the white is thin enough to where it's already drying in the, the flatter areas. So that, and I, this is where I added paint because of a, a drip or whatever, but um, under, I have lights and it, it dries pretty quickly. 
These kind of uh, swipe fluid paintings definitely dry overnight. They're dry to the touch and everything the next day. And you don't have a big buildup of silicone or anything like that. You do have to clean it off before you seal it, but um, it's good for, you know, it's fairly easy to work with. I'm just trying to give some interest to these kind of funky areas where there's no swiping and the colors are just built up. Just adding a little bit of something extra. All right, I think I'm done for this one. Um, this was a request, and I'm not sure if these were the colors she was talking about. She said blue, yellow, and green. She might have thought of softer colors. I'm not, I'm not sure. But uh, here's for you to see. That's where the white was swiped. Here's where the blue swiped. There's blue swipe. There's a white swipe. And another white swipe. And so, you know, the, the white and everything is kind of, it, it'll get thicker in areas and it's not, it doesn't lay down perfectly flat. I don't load up my canvas with the white paint. I've noticed some people that it just looks like slick and very smooth and it looks like they put a lot of paint on their canvas. I don't. This is just a really kind of very light coat and it will it'll settle out and lay down and be more smooth when it dries and uh, like I said it'll be dry by tomorrow morning. So here's this one.